I remember as like a sixth grader, I was like, I'm gonna do a rainbow over that girl's head. And everyone's like, don't do that, it's stupid. Just reround the brawl, like go left, don't do that. And I did it because I saw myself do it in my head. I can do this. It just sparked, you know, success. And I was like, I'm gonna do this more often. The space between physical intensity and mental stillness just requires this immersion of your mind, body, and spirit kind of coming together to give that composure. I think a lot of athletes are overly critical of themselves, so kind of having this flow state and something that can ground you before you play, before you do anything that's highly intensive on your brain, on your body. For any athlete, you have to have that reset because you can't just go, go, go forever. I do this thing where I go to tie my shoe, even if it's not undone, and I just kind of have a renew my mind session for that split second to kind of ground me and know that I'm like, this is a game. I have to kind of reset my mind, and I think it helps me take a step back, think clearly, and do the right thing. Components of my flow state are prayer and visualization. The prayer piece for me is just being grateful for where I am and for the opportunities ahead of me. Faith to me has been kind of my steady stone throughout life. So it kind of gives you the courage you need to get through anything. And then visualization comes in for me to just see myself doing the right things, doing what I want to do, being a good teammate, just the things that make me enjoy the game, to just go with my instinct and know that I can make it happen.